Good morning, buttholes. My name is James Reeves. You're watching TFB TV mailroom number 23. Now we're gonna do a lightning mailroom right now because Lindsay's at brunch, so I gotta drink my beer and open these packages as quickly as possible. But a uh, couple of comments. First of all, we just went over a thousand patrons and I told you guys that I was going to give something very special away, which I am, and we'll get to that in a second. But first, oh, I'm a little parched. I think I'm gonna need some fine prairie artisan ales blueberry boyfriend. This looks delicious. Nice refreshing blueberry beer. It's like 93 degrees out. Oh yeah. Look at that, nice and purple. Oh man, all right, Blueberry Boyfriend. It's a sour ale with blueberries, lemon, zest. 5.4%, not too shabby. I could get messed up on this. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I could easily get blackout on this before Lindsay gets back from brunch. Uh, I wish I would've bought a 12 pack of these bad boys, this is delicious. Now I gotta say, I had a big fancy mail room planned and I had props and everything and we were gonna do like the special, I, I got a set of five guns. I'm gonna give away five guns in mail room number 24, which will be the second anniversary of mail room coincidentally. So we're gonna give away five guns. I had something big planned. I ordered all these props and what I hate is when you order stuff from Amazon and it comes from goddamn China and it takes like three weeks to get here. No shit, I ordered my props, like my stuff for you guys to put on a special mail room for you dudes for us going over a thousand patrons and the shit's not here yet so i'm actually furious about that i'm furious with amazon and uh you know but i did get one of the things and it is lit i also have all the guns we're going to be giving away five guns they're five special guns i wrote five haikus about these guns and we're giving away a blue Alpha Gear belt to every single winner of a gun. So that's going to be next mailroom. You're all eligible if you sign up. But this month for belts, I'm giving away blue Alpha Gear belts to the moderators of the TFB TV Discord. Discord's a TFB TV chat. The mods kick ass. I mean, they are the best moderators that we got out there. So guys, I am paying out of my own pocket. Not really. <laughs> blue Alpha Gear is giving me the belts. But, um, but you guys are getting them. That's the good news. Uh, because you guys do such an awesome job and I love the TFB Discord. We have the best, literally best chat room on the internet. So get on there if you guys aren't on already. There's a, an invite link um, in the description. Most of you will absolutely hate it. All right, gun giveaways. Now I told you guys when we hit a thousand patrons, we were going to be giving away two guns a month. And we're, I'm, I'm looking at the numbers and seeing what kind of increments we can do in the future because I'll keep adding guns if you guys keep coming. Absolutely. I mean, I, we'll give 10 guns. We're, I mean, we're giving away five in next mail room. We're, I'll give away 10 guns. I don't care. Uh, if you guys keep coming, I'm going to add more guns to make it worth your while. So for the first gun, we have a Ruger Security 9 Compact. This gun just came out. It's a brand new model. I did a review. I'll try to remember to throw a card up for the review. I'll probably forget it. But the winner, random.org chose number 534, which is Rick Lauer. Rick Lauer. And by the way, guys, I'm going to email you and I'm going to DM you on Patreon. And that's it. That is it. Because for gun number two, this is the third time we've given this gun away. This is the Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 five inch model, which I love. And I, I had a glowing review of this gun. And the past two months, the guys that have won it haven't claimed it. I've emailed them. I've DM'd them. I've announced it on YouTube. You know, a YouTube video. I don't know what else I can do other than call their mothers, and I'm not going to do that, at least not just to give them a free gun. So in any event, this month, hopefully Brady Losey Johnson, number 29. Hopefully, Brady, hope, I hope you're watching. I hope you check your emails or your Patreon DMs or whatever, because I would love, third time's a charm, to give this gun away. Coincidentally, Losey and Johnson. Johnson is like my stepmom's maiden name, and Losey is my mother-in-law's maiden name, so that's kind of weird. Um, so maybe that's good luck, or maybe it's terrible luck, I don't know. Um, now, big giveaway, I'll be right back. So the big giveaway, I already gave you guys a hint on the patron page, but Galil Ace 223556. That's right, we are giving away this bad boy, and what I decided to do, I said I was gonna give one of these away when we hit 1,000 patrons, what I decided to do uh, was to give it away to a gold level, like a $10 or higher, elite tier, whatever you want to call it, um, our highest tier. 
and somebody who has been a member since before we hit a thousand. So I, I narrowed it down and that winner was number 71, Dylan Foster. Dylan Foster, congratulations. Thank you for all your support. You just won a Galea Lace in 556, my dude. So guys, I really appreciate all of your support. How do you win these free guns? Very easy. All you do, subscribe to Patreon for TFB TV at the $5 or the $10 level. We also give away patches, we give away belts, we do giveaways, uh, several giveaways a month. So you're, you're getting your money's worth, definitely. And, and you're supporting us. And that's, to me, I mean, obviously more important. You guys, I know I don't need to give you crap to get you guys to support us, but that is the most important thing is you guys are keeping us in business and we appreciate it. All right, so now I'm going to open mail until we run out of packages or until my wife gets back. So for those of you who don't know, we are doing a meme gun. Somebody sent in, uh, we had some funny AR parts sent in, uh, maybe mailroom 20 or 21, something like that. And I said, you know what, screw it. Why don't you guys just send in enough parts to build a, a complete AR-15 and I'll build it out. And so we've got three sets of testicles, a penis grip, a TFB TV laser engraved mag that's pretty cool. We got a foregrip. Um, I know we got a lower receiver, even though I haven't opened it yet. So I'll reveal that maybe as the last piece. So we're getting there. We're like 70% of the way there. Um, but hopefully we got some more components in here, but let's see what we got from Strike. I love the guys at Strike, by the way, super cool. Oh, it is the Strike EMP plus five round capacity for 40 cal plus six round capacity for nine millimeter. Strike EMP plus six round extension. That's pretty awesome. I, yes, this is for a Glock. Okay, fantastic. You guys know I'll use it. This will probably be in some future TFB TV videos. Next, Outdoor Sports USA, Ontario. Oh, shoot. Oh, dear James, I heard about the, oh, that's right. We're calling it the Pen 15, P-E-N-1-5. Um, do the math. You can figure out why we're calling it the Pen 15. I heard about the Pen 15 through the Discord server and remembered seeing the perfect charging handle for it online. Don't ban me because my profile picture is Joseph Stalin. P.S. I'm the guy in the letter from K who called you daddy. Thank you. <laughs> this is perfect. This is going to be perfect for the Pen 15. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. This is awesome, you guys are doing a great job. We're almost there. All right, this one got banged up a little bit by the incredible postal workers, uh, the US Post Office in New Orleans, Louisiana. I, I feel like it's actually a temp organization masquerading as a government office. All right, what we got here? Water-based lubricant H2O gun oil. After the 29th stroke, you'll swear it's real. Are we sure we're talking about like guns, guns? I mean, water-based. I realize that this is actually for jerking off. I thought it was just like an, an unfortunately titled actual gun oil. So my buddy Preston is here with his wife visiting and <laughs> Uh, we'll go ahead and just put these bad boys in there. Dear Mr. Reeves, as a recent British expat living in the U.S., welcome. I've never had more opportunity and freedom to own, build firearms. Goddamn right. TFB has been one of my staples and trusted mediums, which has been invaluable. Thank you very much. Now it's great to watch TFB TV, a channel with a sense of humor while still delivering a knowledgeable and informative show. Thank you. Please find enclosed my contribution to the TFB community AR build, AKA the Assault Pen 15. <laughs> I read this in an English accent in my head. I hope this piece will sound as obnoxious and obscene as the build will look and feel. Emphasis on feel. Yours sincerely, Patreon, Discord shit poster, fuck funder, the fuck funder thing is, and that's P-H-U-C, you filthy animals. I don't know what you were thinking. Danny Start. Thank you, Danny, very much. This is, oh great, a cookie cutter. So I've never actually handled one of these in person, but I mean, it would only be appropriate for the Pen 15 that we use a cookie cutter. I guess for those of you who are more imaginative, you can see why this would be very fitting for the Pen 15 build. Danny, thank you very much. So I wonder when I build this AR-15, if I'm gonna get prosecuted by the ATF or if this is like gonna be an FBI level sex crime. Um, I, maybe both. LG, West Virginia, I know this guy. James, enjoy, LG. 
possum stickers. I uh, love possums. I don't know if you guys know that. Uh, we have, I, I live here in Louisiana. We feed possums on our back porch like every night, I shit you not. If I have a picture handy, I'll, I'll throw it up there. But um, pretty much every night we have possums on the back porch. I think it's pretty cool. Thank you very much for the stickers, LG. This is from Scott and Ka, or K-A, Camarillo, California. Too sexy guy with the thighs, TFB TV mailroom. Thank you, gents. California compliant letter. Oh wow, this is a big one. Dear James, this looks like a handwriting from a lady. Dear James, while watching your YouTube channel with my boyfriend, knew it, it it's come to my attention that you seem to favor very short shorts. A normal man might not be able to pull this look off. However, you do, sir, look quite stunning. Thank you very much. Please find the enclosed shirt that I designed specifically for you to rock with your shorts. On a different note, I'd love to go to the range with my guy but I'm not sure which gun would work best for me. I'm 5'2 with weak shoulders, so a rifle won't be a good choice. Not necessarily true. We'll get to that in just a moment. My dad is retired LAPD, and I, and could, oh, I could borrow his Glock or use my man's Beretta. I was also looking at a 22. What are your thoughts, Kelly Ann? P.S. I didn't want to ask my guy because I want to surprise him. That is very thoughtful of you. I don't know if you've shot an AR or not, but if you got like a, a standard 16 inch AR, and you're also in California, so there's that to remember, um, but I think you can get like a California compliant AR. Um, actually, the, the Aries, or now it's Fight Light, the Fight Light SCR would be a fantastic choice for you. I don't know what the compliance issues are there, but basically it's a, a sporting stock AR style rifle. It takes AR uppers, but, uh, and it accepts AR magazines, but it's got like a sporting, like a regular rifle stock. Very easy to shoot. The brake that comes on them uh, works very well. I, again, I don't know if you can even have muzzle brakes in California, but look into that. That's a good one. I like the Mini 14. You should go back and look at my videos uh, of the, on the Mini 14. I've covered it several times over the years. I think that's a great choice. Those are both going to be very easy to shoot rifles, even if you're a uh, 5'2", if you're a little munchkin like you are, uh, they're still gonna work well. Now, if you want to have something that's rifle profile and easy to shoot, but not necessarily rifle caliber, then I would suggest you go with a pistol caliber carbine. I think that Ruger with the PC9, Ruger's very good about California compliance and making California compliant models. It wouldn't surprise me if there was a Ruger PC9 that existed for you people living behind enemy lines in California, the Republic of California. Um, the Ruger PC9 is a great little gun and uh, inexpensive, works well. Uh, you can even break it down, like put it in your backpack. So uh, if you want something rifle-like, those are, are three suggestions that I would have. The Mini 14, the SCR, or the PC9. I mean, as far as pistols go, that's a little bit more difficult. It wouldn't hurt if this is like uh, something new for you. I think 22s are a great idea. Mm, I'm not a big 22 guy. The Ruger Mark series is always good, even though they're kind of a pain in the ass to take down. I kind of like the Walther PPK in 22. It's inexpensive, you know, looks cool, works great with a suppressor, which you can't do. Um, so that kind of sucks. Browning Buckmark, the s and Victory pistols are, are pretty nice. So, I mean, 22 is not a bad idea, but if you want to do something more fun, I would highly recommend a pistol caliber carbine. Like, again, the Ruger, I think, is, is probably what you're looking for. Something that's in a rifle profile that shoots 9mm, I think you're going to have a good time with that. One other thing, uh, Mossberg Shockwave in 12 gauge, very easy to shoot, uh, one-handed even, you know, hold it out with one hand, set up a camera and, uh, and send me the video because I wanna see how happy you are after you shoot a Mossberg Shockwave 12 gauge one-handed. But um, other than that, I think the Ruger PC9 or any nine millimeter pistol caliber carbine is a good bet. Now let's have a look at this shirt. What's it say? What's it say? I haven't seen it yet. Ports out, shorts out. Oh my God, that is so clever. This is one of the most clever things I've received. 
uh, on Mailroom. Very well done, very well done. So uh, I hope you appreciate the advice that I gave you as much as I appreciate the shirt. Thanks a ton. We will open this letter from Brad H. Londonberry, New Hampshire. Brad, would you send me a letter? Dear James, my name is Brad, and I was hoping you could help me locate parts for an antique gun. I hope you're shitting me. I'm looking for parts for a Mossberg Brownie pistol. I love TFB TV, and it's one of the few YouTube channels I look forward to new videos from. I was hoping you could read this in a mailroom video and see if other viewers could help me out. That's your best bet. The Mossberg Brownie was the first and only pistol they made until the MC1SC. I was just about to say that. It was made from 1919 to 1932, so I know parts are hard to find. The gun was a gift from my grandfather, and I told him I would restore it and get it into working condition again. If you or any of the TFB TV viewers have leads on parts, I would very much appreciate help and info. I'll leave you my email address at the bottom of this letter in hopes of someone being able to help. Thank you for your time, Brad. And that is BMH26 at Comcast.net. BMH26 at Comcast.net. If you guys want to email this guy and help him out. Now, I would suggest trying to find a parts gun uh, for a brownie on Gunbroker. Maybe Guns America, they might have one. And also Proxy Bid. Uh, you could check the three of those places. You, I would just buy a parts gun for a gun that old. Uh, I, I wouldn't bother buying individual parts. I would buy a parts gun or two because uh, a gun that age, if you've got the extractor going out, then it's going to be the firing pin. Or, you know, if you need to change out the barrel, how much longer is it going to be before you need to change out all your springs and vice versa? So I, I would suggest just buying a, a parts gun and looking for a complete gun from, I mean, obviously it's a big pain. You'd probably have to get an FFL to transfer it to you. But I, I would say check Gun Broker, Guns America, and proxy vid. Uh, but if there's anybody else out there, I just blasted your email to everybody. So if there's anyone that can help you, hopefully they'll chime in. All right, guys, kind of a mild mailroom, but I had to get it done. Um, running behind as usual. It's like middle of June already, and this is technically the mailroom for May and the giveaways for May. I promise the June one is gonna be lit. I'm just waiting for a component of my, my set. Um, and once that gets here, then I'm going to blow your minds with Mailroom 24, the second anniversary. We're going to open the Infinity Gats, as I called them, five Gats um, from a company that I am familiar with. And they put together something special. We got, um, we're going to be giving away Blue Alpha Gear belts with every single one of the Infinity Gats. I'm going to read you a haiku with every single one of the Infinity Gats. You're going to be getting a lot of extra stuff if you win an Infinity Gat. So sign up, five or ten dollar patronage. I hope you guys feel like you're getting your money's worth between the garbage content that we put out in TFB TV and all the giveaways and, and the chat room and all that. I hope you guys feel like you're getting your money's worth out of Patreon. I really appreciate your support. Even if you don't give to Patreon, I'm just glad you're watching and I'm glad you're a subscriber. Thanks a ton, guys. I will see you next month.